often are you with your first two kicks here coming from 48 and 49 yards? How will that help prepare you through the rest of the season? Um, it's definitely good, uh, I guess, to you know, get a few out of the way and uh, you know, not just kicking extra points every game and all that. But uh, it's been good so far. Um, you know, any any uh, chance I have like that um, you know, to get out on the field and help my team and get some points on the board, obviously, is a great opportunity, so it's been good. Before you walked on the field in Athens, what did you think your range was? What did you feel comfortable hitting, and, and is there more in your leg there? Um, I mean, I, I definitely knew I was capable of making that. Um, I feel like, honestly, every kicker on our team can probably hit the ball from 50, 55 yards. We've got some great legs on our team. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things, uh, you know, going out on the field, uh, snap and hold, obviously, you know, adds a little bit of a different element to it. So, uh, you know, I was just uh, – Trying to be as focused as possible, and uh, just try to execute. Uh, Jay, that that kick you had in the Navy game was, uh, in the end, the difference essentially on the scoreboard. Uh, how do you mentally prepare, you know, to deal with the pressure? Um, you've already had a couple big kicks this season. Um, you know, like I said earlier in the year, uh, I just try and treat every kick exactly the same, uh, whether it be an extra point, a kickoff, field goal, whatever. Um, you know. Kicking the football, you can't have a lot of bearings. You can't change, you know, what you do. You can't add more pressure than there already is. So um, it's just one of those things where uh, I just try and stay focused and prepared as possible. Jay, either one more nervous than the other, kicking on the road, kicking at home situation? Uh, not, not really. Um, like I said, I, you know, a lot, a lot of times I don't even look out on the field how far I am. I mean, I, you know, obviously I have a general idea, but I'm not, you know, sitting there adding it up or whatever, you know, as long as I you know, feel comfortable and feel like it's within my range. Um, so, you know, not, not really any different. Jay, you look at who you've been following up on. You've had suck up and then uh, landing and now you. I mean, is that kind of need to be kind of carrying on a, a legacy of hopefully a, uh, some pretty solid kickers? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's an honor to even be mentioned the same sentence with those guys. They've, you know, obviously been great. and. Uh, Gone on to have, you know, Suckup's had a great uh, career in the NFL, and I think Spencer will too, uh, you know, whenever he gets his opportunity. But, um, you know, it's, it's been good so far. Uh, obviously, you know, the offensive line has been great all year. I had great protection. Uh, Seth Strickland's done a great job holding, Walker Hammond has done a great job snapping. So, uh, you know, give the credit to those guys too because they've, uh, they've been great all year. Jay, forgive me if I if I misread this, but you kicked some some live field goals in North Carolina, right? Yes, sir. Biggest biggest kick there, biggest pressure kick. Which one do you remember being the most? Uh, I think the longest I had was a forty three yarder. So not not as long as either one of those. Any other men that being difference makers, game winners like these last two that you remember, or are these the two biggest kicks you think you've had? No, yeah, neither one of those. I think uh, that one was a uh, game that wasn't very close. So. What's uh, the longest kick you ever made? Was it high school? Was it practice? Was I mean, is, what stands out for you, you know, for you in that regard? Uh, definitely in practice. Um, you know, people ask me that all the time, and I feel like everybody wants a, a number on it. But um, you know, there, there's just so many uh, variables when it comes to that. I mean, whether it's the wind, uh, you know, it's cold, hot, and you know, the ball is jumping off your foot or not. So. Um, you know, I hate to put a number on it and say, well, I can hit from this exact range or whatever, but, um, you know, like I said, hopefully it's close enough where I can make it and we can get some points on the board. So you don't have a number for it? No, no. 64, 65, <laughs> something like that? Uh, no, nah, I don't know. We'll see. Anything else for Jay? Nope. Got you, Mike. Yes, you need a mic. Do you measure yourself against other kickers? I'm thinking specifically Blair Walsh at Georgia came in with a lot of height, uh, but he missed a 33-yarder that could have sent that game into overtime, and you hit the 49-yarder. Do you walk a little, you know, a little straighter, uh, a little cockier after that? I don't know about that. <clears throat> Blair's, I mean, he's been there for what I think this is the fourth year now. He's an unbelievable kicker. I mean, you can watch him kick and tell he's good. I mean, his, the height he gets, the rotation, you know, he's a good kicker. And, um, <laughs> You know, you're warming up, you, you know, you kind of check out the other guy or whatever, but it, it's not one of those things where I feel like you're really measuring up and not. I mean, he, he's a great kicker and, you know, he's proven himself, so, I mean, not really. Here he comes. 
I have the mic, Jay. Do you play golf and talk about the ball jumping off your feet? I mean, is it you know you play golf and can you kind of tell when you when you hit a good kick? Is it similar to hitting? Yeah, coach? yeah. Uh, that's one thing. I, I feel like most kicking coaches always uh, compare golf and kicking just because um, a lot a lot of the swing patterns are the same. You, know, you have to you know, have a good follow through and swing up through the ball and all that stuff. So it's uh, there's definitely some similarities there, but um, you know I guess like a good golf shot, you know you you know from the moment you hit it. You know if it's going to be good or if, you know you pulled it or cut it or whatever. So it's it's kind of similar like that. Are you a golfer and how good a golfer? <laughs> uh, I play when I can. Um, I used to play a ton in high school. Um, you know here is kind of few and far between the times I do get to play, but uh, I'm average, I guess. Nothing nothing special. Best round. <laughs> You don't want to put a number on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're big on numbers around here. Yeah, sorry. Best round was maybe 73, 74, oh something gosh. like that. But that's average. Yeah, <laughs> that's not average. I, I'd be lucky to, to probably break 90 right now, if that. So. Gee, what's, uh, what's it like being a kicker on a team? I mean, the guys, do you feel like you're you're part of the team, or is it one of these deals where you know they don't pay much attention to you until you make a kick, and then you're everybody's hero, and uh, if you miss, it's the you know it's a reverse. I mean, what's that? Well, that's like? that's uh that's always one of the battles with being a kicker. You know, obviously you're kind of segregated. You know, everybody's running offense and defense. You're kind of over, you know, in the corner doing your own thing or whatever. But uh, no, I definitely feel a good part of this team. I mean, we've we got a. Uh, Good chemistry here. I feel like everybody, you know, just kind of come together this year, and definitely, uh, you know, we all get along together and have fun. So.